Box art for your consideration too. The sequel. I was going to say Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> or the Squeakquel. The Squeakquel. The Road Chip. Shipwrecked. Uh, chip Vengeance. <laughs> Box <laughs> Art Vengeance. Um, I don't think we will ever start these videos well. Fair enough. We'll get better at it over time. I doubt that. I think it'll get worse because I'll make it worse deliberately. <laughs> Classic Zane move. Is, Here's Zane. I'm Sophie, Sophia, the Soph, whatever you feel like calling me. Punk. <laughs> Col color of punk. <laughs> okay. It's because I'm a child. You are a child. You are an adorable little 11 year old girl. 11, yeah. this is correct. Yeah. yeah. I'm old. I don't care. <laughs> nice thing about being significantly older than your sibling is you're less of a sibling and more like a weird uncle. <laughs> or aunt. Well, I'm not an aunt, nor will I ever be. Fair enough, okay. you ain't trans. So, well, nor will I ever be. Fair enough. Oh my god, our intros are the worst. Valid. They'll continue to not get better. It just makes me want to look at you, just dead in the eye, and say... Why did you do gun? this? Gun! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, valid. This, <laughs> this is a valid This is why I put this at the point. So... It, it's kind of, it's kind of an in joke for us to just look at each other and just point our hands at each other and just say gun. <laughs> so gun, the greatest video game name of all time. It's the, a shooter. There's no ambiguity to what this game is about. It is about gun. Ye old west. We have ourselves a revolver. We have a cute little pew pew. Is that a cute little pew pew? It's I'm joking. Like a single action army with a skull who got hit by the gun. <coughs> and died. Probably. People die when they are killed. It, it might be a living skull. We'll find out later about living skulls. How, how did that exist? You'll find out later. Also, um, corrections? I don't think we need to like a correction. Okay, so we should have had the Strider thing on the last one, but we no I don't open corrections. We should just restart the video. Eh. Nah. Nah. It's always been bad and it'll always be bad. You know what's not bad? The Neversoft logo. Can we can we appreciate the Neversoft logo? It exists. Sophie, are you a fan of Tony Hawk? Tony Hawk exists. Then you don't know the importance of the Neversoft logo. They they had one of the greatest startup screens ever because his eyeball would roll around and then the nail would just hit it and you're like yeah that's the 2000s the 2000s everyone put that I on, didn't exist then put that on a shirt you know i will say like you think it's a bad box art review there's good box art here also later on in this very video we will have album covers and we will have movie posters the Be gun that stop the gun box art's actually really good. Like, it's well composed. The I do kind of wish, though, that the U matched up with the barrels of the guns better. Yeah, th this is mostly here because the game's name is GUN! <laughs> and then there's Gun 2. Was there a Gun 2? I think so, I don't know. Gun 2, Red Dead Revolver. <laughs> They're probably the same game. I don't think any human beings actually ever played Red Dead Revolver. And if you have, I think you're a liar, like saying you played Persona 1. Or 2. Or 2. Or 2-2. Two, two. No, they should have, Persona they should 2 have, and it's instead, and Persona 2 would hurt. They should have called it Persona 2-2. Two, two. Like Final Fantasy 10-2. No, Persona 2, two and a half. Persona 33 and a third. <laughs> or 63 and a third. That's another one I should put on there because of the Earthworm Jim thing. Uh, uh -huh. No, we should have the we should have the sweet. We should have Earthworm Jim. We should have Sonic and Knuckles. We should have featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series, and we should have with Becky, Pocky and Rocky with Becky. <laughs> okay, moving on. The gun box art's not actually that interesting. It's just named Gun. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some, this is 
part of our dry one like a few weeks ago. Yeah, so we we made up another one and then we just didn't. We went through all the pictures and then I realized it would be more potent if I hit Sophie with things she hadn't seen before. Because we basically just talked through and made an entire lost episode and decided, <laughs> eh, maybe shuffle some of those out and save them for later. Fair enough. Like, for all, we read old Max. Don't spoil it for our viewers. Wait. Jeez. Wait, is that wrong? We're going to open up a video on the ultra suplex hold. And they're going to be sad because they saw it coming. Don't you say it. Sorry. Right. I didn't mean to. Don't trust her with spoilers. She, she she would walk out of Harry Potter and be like, I can't believe Han Solo died. <laughs> no, replace Han Solo with Ron. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, wrong spoilers. It's like, no, not Dumbledore died, it was Ron. <laughs> so Black Knight here. <laughs> is a black guy. He's a knight. I would like to remind everyone that uh, she is a child. Um, I love this fucking poster. He's so happy to be here. Like, okay, so the plot of the movie is is that Martin Lawrence gets isekai'd. I don't. I have not actually watched the movie. I I probably should. But I just love him wearing this football jersey and wearing the armor and just how much he loves it. He's like, yeah! <laughs> He's ready to go crusade. Crusade! <laughs> it's one of those ones where it's like, there's not much to talk about it aside from the concept. <laughs> I'm, I'm dying. This is awful. Okay, so next one. It's another movie. The Screaming School! Free! We'll guarantee you to... Or are you a felt charge if you die or, or <laughs> a fright during screaming school? Thanks. I, I wish every movie would have something like that. <laughs> like, I love that type of stupid marketing. Like, hey, if if we can if we can prove that you got a speeding ticket to come by Need for Speed, we will pay off your speeding ticket. That was a real one. Wait, really? Yes. Needless to say, EA got in trouble for that. Or the put, I don't remember if it was name your kid Shadow Man or put Shadow Man on your grave and you would win something. <laughs> or name your kid Dovahkiin and you'll get infinite copies of Skyrim, which is a good deal given that Skyrim's been ported to everything. <laughs> Fair enough. Is the skull? Yeah, the skull's definitely screaming here. <laughs> and the woman's like, well, like, how big is his hand? Massive. It's it's not connected. It's like that one video game boss that shows up in a bunch of video games, like Andross, where it's just a head and two floating hands. Yeah, it's, sounds accurate. I don't know what the plot of this movie is, aside from the ghost will haunt you forever. <laughs> also, there's teeth coming out. There's blood coming out of the teeth. It, it is coming out of the teeth. Did the... Did the skull bite someone? What? Wh where's? The, it's also coming out of the fingers. Yeah, I know. I what, didn't feel like putting that out. Why is there? Or the pool that way. Like, is he drooling blood onto her? How large is this skull? Now, now that I think about it, is this El Gigante? <laughs> why are you speaking in Espanol? Be because I'm thinking about Resident Evil Four, as I tend to do. <laughs> Now, Cloud farting in the basement. Mm, I don't know if that one's next or not. No, it's not. It's super busted. The, the clowns must hold their gas. Meanwhile, this baby's blowing gas into this bowl. <laughs> this is one of the classic, terrible video game boxes. Oh, Sophie's dying. She can't bear to look at it. <laughs> well, it's like, how do you market a single game puzzle or a single screen puzzle game? You, you gotta do insane stuff. Like, we had the Puyo stuff in last time. With, with everyone holding bombs. Well, like, why don't they have, like, the cute little dinosaurs? Like, you would think they could just p keep pushing that, but... Oh, I know why. I guess I didn't notice this, of course. 
It's a claim. Who I was just talking about when I was talking about Shadow Man. Oh. A claim known for creating the greatest marketing gimmick of all, bloodvertising. Bloodvertising? He's had a. If I remember right, it was a bus stop that just dropped blood on people. <laughs> Reminds me of the Luya car. What? Yeah, you're not familiar with the Luya car? No. Why is Lugia bleeding? Lugia's not bleeding. It's a car from... It was a car used for Pokemon the movie 2000, I believe? I feel like that sounds familiar, but why does that remind you of that? I don't know. Well, it's like for Halo 3, they just made a real warthog. I really like when they make dumb video game stuff real. Like, here, pre-order Halo and get the Master Chief helmet. Pre-order the Fallout helmet and die of poisoning. And the fact that I somehow predicted the Void of Brooklyn last time. <laughs> Don't know how you connected that, but yes, we went to go see the Mario movie, and she predicted the Void of Brooklyn. And then the Mario movie had the Void of Brooklyn. We're not even... <laughs> this is just turning into a strange podcast. We aren't even talking about the box art. But Fair it's like, enough. What is th- what is reflecting off the baby's glasses? The puzzle game. Well, I know what the puzzle game is, but it's like, it would not reflect that brightly. Maybe they just added special lenses. So what, do you think it's like those silver sunglasses? I mean, this was the early 2000s. I have special eyes. I have special eyes. You don't have my brand. <laughs> like, man, that is some old... YouTube lore. All right, let's move on to the next one. AKA the sequel. No, it's actually the prequel. Oh. This is super bust move. <laughs> this is bust move. It's so too. addictive. It should be illegal. Yeah, so should uh, that box art. God bless you, Acclaim. It's like... Like, is it implying that you play the game so much that you get turned into the ball and then they, like, sew your eyeballs open. Or is this episode just destined to make me think of Resident Evil 4 again? Is this a Garador, but in reverse? This reminds me of the whole thing in Coraline where the other one was like, if yeah. you stay here, you have to steal buttons into your eyes. And Coraline's like, oh, heck no. Yeah, this, this does kind of remind me of Coraline. This is super cursed. And it's like, it's a puzzle game. Remember... It used to be the cutesy dinosaurs, and now they're like, look at this horror. I, I don't think I want this. At least Puyo Puyo is way more better at this than this mess. This, this is like, uh, oh, what's the name of that fake video game? Um, Hecrock or? No, um, I'm going to get like super mad editing the video thinking about this. Uh, whatever. And then AVGN goes nuts and kills us. Oh, God. I, I turned my head and looked back and was still astonished by it. The killer farmer thing? No, uh... I can't think of anything, to be honest. I f- this isn't a bit. We genuinely don't remember the name of this game. Oh, oh God. This is the cursed est of episodes. Anyway, it's episode two, and it's already cursed. It's so cursed. This is the Night Vale of video game box arts. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she hasn't seen Mar- uh, Marsh- Martian Gothic Unification yet. But you have mentioned that to me while we I, were watching Death Note beforehand. Yeah, we were watching Death Note beforehand when I was assembling the PowerPoint, and I was like, Martian Gothic Unification, because I forgot how bad this box art is. Are they all inside one helmet? Probably. They're probably all screaming because they can't breathe because of carbon dioxide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when my English teacher sees this... Why uh, are you talking about your English teacher? I made my English teacher watch this. He thinks that you're hilarious and a good brother. He is wrong on both accounts. <laughs> Okay, so Martian Gothic Unification. So, I actually kind of get what they're going for on this. 
Because this is a tank control survival horror game with three playable characters that you switch between. It's actually kind of novel. This was well before Resident Evil Zero. But it's like, they're just all screaming inside of this one tube. Or is it is it three people or is it just one horribly mutated face? I'm betting it's three people. I don't... Like, I'm starting to question if this is actually even a space helmet or if it's just like a window that's weirdly thing, but why would they all be screaming? <laughs> they want to be out of this hellhole. I mean, it is Mars. Nothing good ever happened on Mars. I, I also kind of like that they're all showing different emotions. Where, like, this guy is angry that whatever is attacking him is attacking him. This one is just kind of shocked and in terror. And this guy, he's belting some soul. Like... You look at him, and he's like, My body! Do you feel it? You have a great singing voice. Do I? Do I really have a good singing voice? This man. This is the power of soul. We should watch soul. We should probably watch soul. I don't know, maybe. You want to do that after? I don't know. But also, since oh, you mentioned Resident Evil Zero, <coughs> Resident Evil Zero! Oh, Resident Evil Zero! <laughs> I can't believe they took that out of the remaster. Like, why would you do that? This is the best part of that whole game. No, part of that's because that game sucks, but it's like... <laughs> the Resident Evil Zero announcer is so hype. Okay, let's go to the next one. You're falling apart. <laughs> I was gonna mention what do the goths have to do with the previous one, but I guess we're not. What do the goths have to do with their unification? I don't know. Is it like the barbarian tribes of the Visigoths? No, no. And I, I don't. I don't remember the plot of Martian Gothic unification, but I think it was Dead Space. So I think it's unification because they're becoming a bio blob, much like this E.T. creature here. Perfect segue. Bam. Bam. <laughs> this cover is actually kind of awesome. <laughs> Why does that woman look hot to me? Uh, because you're bi. Oh, God, I got slapped. No, ah, because in space, every woman is hot. I started watching Space Adventure Cobra. Guess what? Every woman's hot. That's how the 80s were in space. I mean, we should have got to the got to space in the 80s. What are you doing? Uh, I I wanted to do something just... You're not playing the Nintendo Switch during the middle of recording. Put yeah, that down. I was going to do it to show a point. You can't show a point to an audio viewer whatever. Uh, Children can't keep you. on task. This is why you don't work with kids. <laughs> But why are you a bus driver then? Why are you a bus driver then? I'm not a bus driver! Yet. <laughs> we are not talking about anything in particular. This is the worst. Pong. Yeah, so apparently this is like air hockey. But for some reason they're like, we need to make something more interesting than an air hockey game. So let's put it in space with this pig man and this E.T. and this hot girl. And that JoJo Sand thing. I think that's just a robot. It kind of reminds me of Soft and Wet. It also reminds me of like certain other robots. Robots? Yes. I didn't know there were robots in JoJo. Th no, there's no robots in JoJo. I know there's I was... an alien. Y yeah, Mikitaka's rad. He he's pretty cool, and he <laughs> turns into a dice and he vomits. <laughs> and that's the closest Rohan will ever meet him canonically. Unless we talk about the It's so movie. weird when you think about some series and you're like, these two characters never actually met. And then you see like a group shot of them and you're like, but they never met. Yeah. I like I'm just thinking, like, what Dragon Ball characters have actually met Oolong? Has Vegeta ever met Oolong? I don't know who Oolong is. Yeah, exactly. Because he got forgotten as badly as Launch did. And that sucks. <laughs> Launch is rad. God, we aren't even talking about anything. Exactly. We're just fillering it. Yeah. Everything's filler. This is their this is our in, in, 
anime way data bio. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this creep. <laughs> Why would you think that this would sell your music? Like, I need answers, Jeff Pole. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is the creepy guy from the song of the album of the Aqua Lung. That's a good song. But I'm like, why would it be your idea to be like, what if we had this creepy flasher guy? I mean, I guess he's not a flasher because he's wearing pants. It's like, what is he reaching into his pocket for? Is it for like his bottle of roofie, roofie pills? Is it to stop Is this someone? camera? No, I'm pretty sure he's a rapist. It's not great. This is creepy. Thanks, Jeffro <laughs> And Sophie's like, I need an adult. I need now yet. I don't know what that is. I don't watch the YouTube videos you watch. So you know those videos where it's like persona characters, but their personas no. are named like stands. I don't I don't watch the same YouTube videos you do. And you don't even like Persona. You just like YouTube videos. Wrecked. Okay, you're not going to explain. But you know what? I'm going to explain the next album we're going to look at. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is... I... I <laughs> This is the worst album cover ever made. Uh, Are you okay? Buster Do you need Wolf. medical attention? Yes. I'm I'm choking just like Black Sabbath's career at this point. <laughs> so it's called Born Again because Ronnie James Dio left the band and they had to find a new singer. And so they got Ian Gillen from Deep Purple. But no one wanted to make this album. Clearly, least of all, the creator of the album. <laughs> Album cover. Ah, oh, just stare at it in horror. Nothing about it is good. Why would I want a demon baby here? And it's not even like a good-looking demon baby. They just took a picture of a baby and then poorly traced over it. It's, it's not even a drawing. It's like a rotoscope. Ah. Oh. <laughs> And this yet, wounds me more than it wounds you, but um, that's also because I'm, like, sad at thinking about Black Sabbath after Dio leaves. Colonel yeah. Dio died! Not that Dio. I know, but I'm, let me have any Dio it. did die, and that also made me sad. Okay, so I actually have a Ronnie James Dio story. What? So, the first concert I ever went to was literally the day after Ronnie James Dio died. And it was like oh. this big fat on you're like, oh, I don't even know what a Ronnie James Dio is. You can name precisely zero Dio songs. And then we all got sad. And then there, there, there were multiple moments of silence because it was at a big festival and all but one of them got boshed. The one that didn't get boshed, though, Alice Cooper. Great show. Um. It was also raining at night, which means I did, in fact, see a rainbow in the dark. So Ronnie James Dio was there. 100%. Also, um, how old were you when that happened? Uh, 14, 15, something like that. Okay. And you're like, I've never been to a concert. And I don't think you ever will. I mean, I've been to basketball games. Weird comparison. <laughs> okay, what's next? I forgot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess Tom's sporting in the basement. So this actually isn't Glenn Swarting in the Basement because this is the vanilla version. Um, also the Windows version because I could not find higher res versions of the other ones that actually had what I want to talk about aside from Chris's face. I think this is Chris's face. I hope this is Chris's face. <laughs> okay, so look at this gun. Yeah. Let's let's process the gun. What kind of gun do you think this is? I don't know. I don't know much about my gunology. You're not a gunologist. So logically, you would assume he's fighting zombies, so he has a shotgun. Yeah. And you have this big old breech, and you have this wooden hand gri grip up here. And then you look back here, 
And that's a charging handle. Shotguns don't have charging handles most of the time. Usually it's like a pump action shotgun. It's like they took the back end of an AR, because that's like very clearly an AR charging handle. And then you have this big breach, which is like absurdly large. Because you would think that would stop, like the action would stop like here ish, but then it keeps going like it's like a machine gun, like a 50 cal. And then the front end, it looks more like a shotgun. It's like, why couldn't you just pick one weapon? Like, I know Japan doesn't understand gun. Because they only have one type of gun, legally. Yes, the ancient musket. <laughs> but here's 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 where we're... Here's the real star. Like, the gun annoys me, but... Chris... Oh, poor Chris. How, how do you make one eye bulge out that hard? Look, look at me. Make that face. Make that one eye bulge out. He's like squinting. It almost looks like he got his other eye, his right eye damaged or something. Also, here's a minor thing that bugs me. How come the gun in the lighter parts of Crusher's shirt pop out more than the rest of the cover? So I think the light source here is like supposed to be like up and towards us. And then it aims at that. And the lighting kind of hits that. Uh, the, the lighting's, like, kind of consistent in how it is. But it's like, yeah, that, that shouldn't be that dark over there. His hand shouldn't project the shadow across the whole way. Also, what is going on with the ceiling? What, where is he? The void? <laughs> He's in, a, in the void of... Where does the evil one take place? The, the evil residence. The Void of the Evil. The weapons. Spencer Mansion. This game requires use of a 3D card. Yeah, oh, sounds no. accurate. <laughs> thanks, Capcom. Thanks, thanks Capcom. You, you truly are a Capcom. Also, is it just me or is the Reddit M logo slightly off than you? It is! Good catch! That's not the standard ESRBM. Because new, normally that's like more diagonally offset. And it's also kind of raised off that. Yeah, this is... It's, it's cursed, like the Spencer Mansion. Oh no, I think we're done. We'll, we'll find out on the next slide if we get attacked by Mystery of the Druids. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided I'm just going to anchor videos with this. It's, it's a way to tell us to stop. We have additional slides prepared. And I just I just noticed another horrible detail of the druid's face. What is it? So look at his nose, right? Yeah. What, what his nose kind of looks like an owl's head like twisted and put on top of it. Cuz his nostrils are weird. His, like the nostrils are the same flesh color and normally nostrils are like more red. Oh no. Mr. of the Druids, you're the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> I do you kind of regret putting that as the end part or no? I regret everything about this project, except for hanging out with you.